Dubious ones, welcome back to the channel for another This Week in Wrestling. Today we are focused on the news that just came out. The big stories from All Elite Wrestling. First of all, we have Adam Copeland giving us an update on his health following, if you didn't see it, double or nothing, he had one hell of a barbed wire extreme cage match with one Malachi Black, but sadly he is now facing the consequences from his successful defense. Let's take a listen. Hey everybody. Um, oh lord. I, there's no filters that can help this thing out of the way up. I got hammered peaches or something. Uh, anyway, double or nothing. Flew back yesterday. Uh, Malachi Black. Dude is a uh, <laughs> All of the house black, they're just um, really, really, really damn good. Um, and as you're about to find out in this video, I guess the house always does win because I gained two new friends. I don't, I don't really like them. They're kind of like those buddies that uh, just annoy you, but they're always there. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm a protean buddy or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, I've been feeling really good lately. Um, been having so much fun in the ring, and I got cocky. I guess is is what it really boils down to. And I'm probably a narcissist and an egomaniac, and I'll un unpack that one day. Um, but yeah, I uh, you know my my brain forgets what my body always seems to remember. Um, a little late is, is that uh, I'm 50, and. I need to make better choices. So my body pulled the emergency brake on me the other night and, and I ended up fracturing my tibia, um, which is gonna require surgery. Don't know the time frame on that um, yet. Uh, Ruby's birthday's Friday and I, I really wanna enjoy that and, and focus on all the positives that I have in my life because there's way more that than the bad and, and even this, surgery. I know, I know what I gotta do. Um, I'll find out the time frame kind of next week and everything. Uh, yeah, sorry, don't really know what I'm gonna say. Um, and I'm still half asleep. <laughs> but, uh, so pardon the appearance and all that good stuff. Anyway, uh, I will see you soon-ish. And uh, in the meantime, everybody good? Try and be happy, all right? So there you have it, folks. Very, very sad news that the man Adam Copeland, after having such an incredible performance, it was a hell of a cage match. They had the whole thing with the brood. They brought back Gangrel um, coming up from under the ring. I thought it was super cool. It's something he wanted to do in WWE. They put the poo-poo on it and said no, saying that nobody would remember. I think all wrestling fans, they have a great memory, and Adam Copeland knows that. So we had some incredible moments in that match. Very, very sad to hear. Here we have some very gross comments, in my opinion, when um, Elite Rockers here says Edge has confirmed that he fractured his tibia and requires surgery. A 50-year-old man jumping from a 20-foot high cage. What did he expect? Play stupid, game, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I don't know if you really need to take a dump on the man like that right after he's had, you know, such an emotional moment, I'm sure, for him and his family having to go through surgery and being injured like that. But let's take a quick look at the incredible act that caused it all. This was from Double or Nothing. I don't know how much of this I can show, but you'll see he did a, a crazy um, elbow drop from the top rope there. And I mean, he fractured his tibia. It sucks. It was a great match. It was a crazy spot. It looked really bad. Um, but I just wish him well and uh, hope for a speedy recovery. But that wasn't the only news we got from AEW today. So let's take a look here as we found out that WWE Hall of Famer Arn Anderson, this reported here, WrestleTalk underscore TV, go check them out on X. Um, WWE Hall of Famer Arn Anderson has announced that he will be leaving AEW when his contract expires on May 31st. He stated, one thing people know um, that I am very appreciative to have been in this business for 42, year, 42 years. I've often said this business does not owe me anything. I owe it everything. Very humble. 
that's, you know, Arn Anderson, great guy. Here at the tail end of my career, I've been very fortunate to work with AEW and Tony Khan for the last four years. He's a great human being. He's taken the wrestling business and given it another option and a whole other category of pro wrestling is perceived to be or can be or will be or has been. So I just want to thank you to everyone who worked there. They all are exceptionally great. Tony, we appreciate everything you've done for this business. The time I have left, I want to spend with Brock because I think Brock has the attitude and he will be a player for somebody. I've just got to get him some experience so that so that's where I'm going to devote my time is helping to develop Brock and teaching him. And if he comes along like I think he will. This coming May 31st is the last date on my contract and I just want to say thank you. I appreciate everything and that goes to everybody who works there. I just want to say thank you down and see you down the road. The Arn Show. So that is coming from directly from Arn Anderson there. And I must say, you know what? You can say what you want about AEW, but I really appreciate how they've treated the majority of their legends. Arn Anderson was a pivotal part of Cody's run in AEW. He had some great, funny, memorable promos, like with the Glock and everything. Um, I think he had a fun run in AEW. I enjoyed him. I enjoyed what they did with Jake, um, Jake Roberts. I've enjoyed, I enjoyed what they did with um, Tully Blanchard. Uh, I enjoyed what they did, obviously, with Sting. Um, we have other news. Um, I believe also we've heard, I'm going to take a look here on the fly, but I do believe uh, Mark Henry is also um, leaving at the end of his contract. Um, I believe... Um, he posted something here. Let's take a quick look before we cut the video. Um, somebody said all he does is trash AEW anyways. Good riddance as apparently Mark Henry's leaving AEW. He says you confuse critiquing with trashing because you don't know what you're talking about. Just because you watch something don't mean you know it. I've seen surgeries, but I can't do it. And I, um, and he said, I was wondering how you could misspell such a, misspell such a simple word. Um, I responded just saying, giving an honest critique uh, of something isn't a bad thing. There are plenty of issues with AEW, the main problem being serious storytelling, in my opinion. I love Double or Nothing, but the stories leading into it weren't great, again, in my opinion. Wrestling is 80% storytelling and 20% wrestling matches, in my opinion. And then given the love with the old nation of domination, the big guy, Mark Henry there. Big fan of Mark Henry. So again, someone that, as I said, they did treat their legends well. Mark Henry really wasn't used, I think, effectively. He made those announcements for Rampage, and now we're getting to our main event. They didn't really do anything uh, with him. I don't know what he was doing backstage. If he was a producer, I don't really know what his main roles were. Um, but it's always sad to see a legend go. I love hearing uh, Mark Henry on different podcasts. Um, I think he's, you know, a wonderful personality. He's been a great, great part uh, of the business for the, the last few decades. So um, sad to see... Any of these legends go, but again, you can't keep everyone on your roster when you have such a massive bloated roster. So if AEW is just letting these guys, it's not like they're letting them go if they're just not re-signing them um, at the end of their contracts or re renewing their contracts. That's that's something else. So it is what it is. Uh, but that was this week in wrestling, the AEW edition, just bringing up the biggest news stories that we've heard recently. Anyways, dubious ones, that is going to do it for this one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun, and I will catch you in the next one. Deuces.